Coming to you from the corner with the radiator, it's day 12 and it's time for a quick strike. Hello and welcome back to the Dojo here on Mr. JWAG's channel. We are back for a quick strike, back in the corner with the radiator. Of course, a quick strike is a small tapa-sized amuse-bouche of an episode released mid-basho to keep us hungry for more and future sumo. But of course, spoilers abound for the current basho. So if you have not watched through day 12 of the July 2024 basho, stop, watch through day 12, and then return to us. Just want to get out there that I do love Terra Nafuji as a wrestler. He seems like a real cool dude. I respect the heck out of him. But man, uh, he really just doesn't seem to have a flair for the dramatic. Of course, the story is that Terra Nafuji looks almost certain to win his 10th U show coming up in July. This is something I did not expect. While he has had a number of close calls, most of them have gone his way, and he is 11 and 1 on day 12. Uh, now, 11 and 1 isn't insurmountable, but unfortunately, the next closest wrestlers are 9 and three, which means, mathematically speaking, this Basho could be over tomorrow. That's right, the magic number is right now two. Terra Nafuji needs two victories or two losses by everyone in second place or some combination of the two, and that could happen tomorrow. So, Terra Nafuji is facing Takakesho tomorrow. If he wins, he goes to 12 and one. We have three wrestlers down at nine and three. Ozeki Hoshodyu, Maigashira six, Takanosho, and Maigashira 12, Chudano Umi. Hoshodyu faces Sekiwake Ono Sato tomorrow, and famously, Hoshodyu has never lost to Ono Sato, but ooh, wouldn't timing be interesting to switch on that now? Takanosho is going to get a very motivated Kirishima tomorrow, we're going to talk about that in a second. And Chudno Umi has been promoted a bit aggressively to face Dai Eisho. So yes, uh, while I don't think it is likely that all of our 9 and 3 lose tomorrow, I think it is definitely a possibility, and we could be giving out this U show on day 13. I mean, not officially, but he, he could lock it in. Uh, I honestly don't expect uh, Chudano Umi or Takanosho to like, stay in the race, so really, the U show race is going to come down to can Hoshodyu win out, and can to Ozeki end up beating Terra Fuji in this tournament. I don't think so. In fact, the super power move by Terra Fuji would be winning the whole damn thing tomorrow and then going Kyujo for two days and just coming back to accept the cup. Don't think that's going to happen, but be kind of baller. Speaking of Takakesho and Kidishima, they are both at the point where they have no more margin for error. Takakesho is at his seventh loss. Uh, Kidishima is at his fifth loss. They have to win the next three matches to maintain where they are. Takakesho, of course, would drop down to Ozeki Wake. He would need 10 in the next tournament, and Kidishima would drop completely out of the Ozeki conversation. And were he to get Ozeki again, he'd have to do it the hard way. So much depends on these next three days for Kidishima. They did give Takakesho Terra Nafuji tomorrow, so obviously they're not trying to throw him some softballs, but let's see who Kirishima gets down the stretch. Once again, he has Takanosho tomorrow. Now, the Judio Demotion promotion picture is very slow developing this tournament. I only have two guys who I, I, I'm almost positive are going to uh, drop down into Judio. That would be Magashira 5 Onosho and Magashira 12 Asanoyama. I uh, hope an Onosho can bounce back from this injury, but I'm almost positive from Magashira 5 that's going to be a Judio Demotion. And Asanoyama, ooh, he's going to be out for a bit, so uh, Judio is not even the least of his worries right now. We have a number of guys who are on the bubble, depending on how they do in the next few days. Maigashira 17, Nishiki Fuji. He needs three wins to stay up there. I mean, he, he needs a Kachikoshi. Maigashira 15, Chiyoshoma has returned from Kyujo, but he needs at least two more wins to stay up. Maigashira 11, Nishikigi uh, had looked really terrible in the first week, but has managed to show some life in the second week. But I'd say he needs two more wins to stay up. Takeyasu went Kyujo at Maigashira 3. Uh, it's sort of a toss-up. Here, not a toss about it. Chances are about 30% he could get demoted from there, but that would need some strong promotion cases. And right now, there really aren't any. Now, the super slow developing part of this picture is the Judio side. We, we don't have anyone right now who I think is a lock for promotion. Everyone who is sort of in the mix for the Judio U show is, is Judio 8 or ranked lower. So we're talking we would need a 12 win or better you show to even be in the conversation for a promotion. The easiest would be if both of our judios won, ended up winning one more match, so they both get Kachikoshi, and then they can easily swap out for Onosho and Asanoyama, and then we can sort of shuffle around in judio, but we'll see. We have a few guys on the bubble who could win out and possibly get a promotion. 
Ah, so this is the point where I say, ah, oh, it's a fascinating Basho, and I wonder what's going to happen on the stretch. It's probably going to be Terra Nefuji. I'm, I'm almost positive. Uh, the, the only way it doesn't happen is if something horrible happens to Terra Nefuji, and I definitely want that to happen less than I want a fascinating, interesting day 15. So, hey, Terra Nefuji, clear the decks. Get that 10th you show. I will see you all in about a week for our recap of the July tournament. Until then, thank you for joining us for this quick strike. Yeah.